Well, they did it again. Left with more disappointment than joy. So Hasbro Mar Imperial March live stream today revealing a bunch of products. So I'm going to do this little recap here to kind of show you guys everything they revealed today. That way you guys don't have to sit through that hour video of malarkey. Now, there were a, a few cool things, some other things that I'm kind of like, eh, and then some stuff where I'm like, that looks bad in person. So let's just jump right into it. So we're going to look at, on Instagram, figure Brian has everything posted on his page. So shout out to him, always updating everything. So we'll start with the first reveal is this TVC Leia. Now, this is a new hope, Leia, completely new mold. It looks really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Like the head sculpt, the Leia space buns. This this is a really cool one. So it looked good in person when they had it on the table there. The car back, iconic. So that was the first one. I'm like, okay, cool. Next, we got a reissue of R2. Now, this is cool if you don't have this card, R2 on the New Hope card back, which I don't think I have that. So I kind of need it. Wait, do I? No, I don't. Okay. So I kind of need it. Um, so that was cool seeing the R2, you know, real clean, no like weathering or anything like that. So, I mean, fine, decent start, two iconic characters. Then we got this, and I am the biggest Darth Maul fan. He's my number one favorite character in Star Wars. But this is just lazy, man. These Holocom collections, not a fan of. They're sitting at all my targets. They're actually all 50% off right now. So for this one, I will get it when it's half price just because, like, I collect all things Darth Maul, right? So I'm going to take it out of the box, and it's just a holographic Maul I'll have on display. But, I mean, I'm just not a fan of this concept. The Maul looks dope right there in that pose, but, like, these aren't worth the full price. These things just sit. So, I mean, again, they need to really stop with this line because it's not moving, like, Every one of my targets, the shelves are filled with that Bo-Katan. And they're all 50% off right now. All right, next up, a bunch of Black Series revealed from the Acolyte. Now, the Acolyte trailer dropped yesterday. I am looking forward to the show, but I'm not necessarily looking forward to these figures yet because I don't have any connection with them at all. It's a new show. So, I mean, maybe it's good that they're a little bit proactive for once and they're revealing these before the show. And we don't have to wait after in case we do fall in love with them when the show drops. But, like, this is cool, but I'm not going to buy this. And then once I watch the show, even if I like them, by then, I'll just wait to get this on sale. So they revealed Master Soul from Acolyte Black Series. They revealed his Padawan, Jekai Lone, from uh, Acolyte. Uh, another Jedi Knight, Yord Fandar. And this is new packaging as well. So, look. Look at this giraffe ass neck. He looks like Jeffrey the giraffe. Shout out to Toys R Us. This is with the Miles Morales head sculpt. Uh, come on. And then this one is actually dope. It's Master Indara, who is Trinity from the Matrix. This is a really cool one. Out of those four, I probably would maybe consider this one. And it's just because I love that uh, that actor. And then they did uh, May the Assassin, who we kind of think is she the acolyte or. Is she a Sith? Whatever, whatever. So those were the Black Series reveals. And, I mean, the mask just looks terrible like that. That looks really bad. The rest is okay, I guess. But that mask is just, bro, what is that? So after this, they went TVC scale next. So we got Jedi Master Soul as TVC. I'm more of a TVC guy than Black Series. So this one's cool. The card back is okay. I'm a big card back guy, and I wish they would have had one of the scenes because we see him ignite his saber in the trailer, and I saw a different trailer at London Celebration that had another version of him igniting his saber. So there's images of that. I wish they would have did that, but, I mean, it's fine. But, again, I have no connection to him yet, so I'm not really, like, hyped to pre-order this dude when, I don't know. I mean, I love Squid Game, but it's not a Squid Game card back. And then they did May. Now, her card back looks badass. I'm not even going to lie. So this one's not too bad. But again, like, the mask, it needs to be more, like, fitted, more molded. Or it's like 
a plastic one piece. They should have did it like uh like a like a material that would be more like flush to the face. So, I mean, without the mask, it's it's okay. The hair looks a little weird on this one. So, those two reveals. Next, we got this, which this picture looks great, right? This pipeline reveal, we were hyped to see it. But the minute Homeboy took... Does he have a picture of it? So, during the... Uh, oh, no. Give me that like back. I, I do not like this one. Sorry, pal. The minute uh they revealed this, he took it out. He put it on. It looked like a Party City cheap version of a helmet mask for Star Wars you get for Halloween last minute. I was looking forward to this, but now I'm probably going to like look more at like aftermarket custom made 3D printed by somebody because it was very disappointing. So another L. Here's a shot of all the box art together. The boxes are a new style. They, they're going away from the slanted angle one, which I kind of like those better. I don't know. I guess we'll see these in person, but that's all five of the figures together. You can see the mural right there. Then they brought out the two carded figures that are coming with the the Java on the on his little uh, his thing, whatever it's called. What is it called? I forgot what it's called. Put in the comments what Java's thing's called. I have the the vintage one right there. That thing. What the hell is that base called? So uh, this salacious crumb card back is awesome. It is so tiny. It it looks so cool when uh, when they brought it out. So that was pretty cool seeing that. I mean, it's kind of sad. The highlight of this was just seeing this tiny ass salacious crumb card back, which is just uh, basically the same as the old one that came out. But they the I think the mold is a little different, and they changed the VC number to sixty six A instead of VC sixty six to distinguish between this and the original. Then we got pipeline reveals. Pretty boring. Deidre. Nobody cares. The Imperial Armored Commando from uh, Mando Season 3. That's pretty dope. But, like, he's going to go on sale. Ahsoka the White, which is cool. But, like, man, couldn't we have gotten that closer to Ahsoka? Like, come on. Uh, Captain Enoch and Night Trooper 2-pack for Walmart. It's fine, but getting exclusive at Walmart is a pain. This last one is very intriguing. It is Yoda and Clone Commander Gree from the comics, but the figures are going to be de depicted as, like, realistic. So this has a chance to be a fire two-pack. So that's some hope that we got. And then TVC, Jetpack Trooper from Survivor. Who wants that? I mean... It we're getting the live action Thrawn, which I already have the Rebels Thrawn. So I'll pick this up on clearance because, again, like that should have been coming out when the show was coming out. Like, you got to go with the hype. Then we got a four pack of X Wing pilots, which is cool for those troop builders building out those scenes. And then you couldn't go a freaking live stream without. Revealing another Mando, a new freaking Mando. So we are getting another Mando TVC, but this one with the Blurg. So the Blurg is dope getting a creature, but I don't need a Mando. Like, are you throwing that Mando in there to jack up the price? Like, sell the Blurg by itself. I got Quill. I got Quill. He's here ready. I got him at Ollie's for $3.99. Quill is ready for the Blurg. I don't need Mando. Jesus, Hasbro. Ah, oh, God. All right. And then Moff Gideon's Imperial Light Cruiser hallway playset, which now I just realized that was when he was fighting Mando. So another Mando. Wow. Two two back-to-back -back Mandos. All right, that is terrible. So that was pretty much everything. The last thing that they uh, kind of gave us uh, a little nugget about was the HasLab. So the HasLab, they're going to reveal it the week of May the 4th. I don't know if it's going to be on May the 4th or sometime during that week. And the only thing they told us about it is that it is a TVC HasLab, which that's a good sign because the TVC have a better track record than the Black Series. So interested to see what that is. For the Ghost, they're working on photos for the box. They didn't show us the box. They did show us a bunch of photos, which was kind of like, okay, cool. But uh, no ghost box yet. So overall, very disappointing Hasbro stream. 
uh, a few little glimmers of things to look forward to, but it's like, I just feel they're just getting more and more out of touch on what the fans really, really want. And yeah, man. Yeah, it sucks. So uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you guys agree with me, and let me know what the favorite thing was that they revealed today. And then check out this video next.